My name is Martin Hinchwood. I'm a, a professional Scrum trainer uh, and Microsoft MVP. Uh, I work for a company called Naked Agility out of Scotland, but I, I train, uh, coach, and consult everywhere in the world. Um, and I, want to, I, I wanted to share with you a, a question I get, I get often. Um, the question is around uh, DevOps. And if, if I'm doing DevOps and I have continuous delivery, what do I need this Scrum thing for? Why, why should I do Scrum? And I personally find that a very strange question. I've been doing DevOps, or what was called ALM, for a very long time. And I find that this is odd because, it, it, for me, CD, continuous delivery, is a complementary practice that you can use for any process. And if you have a look at the Scrum Guide, uh, you'll see that it, it doesn't say anywhere that you can't deliver more frequently than every iteration. It says that you must deliver at least every iteration working software. It doesn't even say it has to be in production. I, I, I like to say that it should be in production. But if you have to deliver working software and you're doing CD, you're going to deliver it more frequently than ever, every sprint. So effectively, a sprint, your cadence for planning is what it is. Your, your sprint is a cadence for planning not really to do with delivery. Although you need to deliver at least once a sprint, you're able to uh, uh, deliver much more frequently than that. I work with many teams who deliver on an hourly basis to production, who every commit, every commit to their uh, uh, repository goes directly to production. And I work with other teams that ship to production once a sprint or maybe less than once a sprint. Uh, that's up to their product owner. There is absolutely no reason why a scrum team can't deliver to production multiple times per sprint. And in fact, it's hugely beneficial to that team because they're able to go into their uh, sprint review and have stakeholders give them feedback on software that they have been using in production for whatever period of time it's been since it shipped to production. So they're able to get much more actionable feedback directly into the next sprint. And that, I think, is why I believe that continuous delivery is a complementary practice that you can use in Scrum, that you can use anywhere you need to, and there is no reason why you can't do it. If you want to get in touch with me, uh, you can do so on Twitter. Um, Mr. Hinch, M-R-H-I-N-S-H, -H, uh, or you can contact me through my website at nkdagility.com.